What's up, guys? Good morning. I'm so tired. Ugh. But I'm also very excited, guys. I have some really good news that is going to happen today. And we are just so excited. And... Let me just fresh it up really quick. I need coffee and I need to fully wake up because I still feel very sleepy. And look at my hair, guys. I dyed it. I am back to my original hair color. We're excited about that. Um... I was a blonde for about a year, and I think that my scalp is going to thank me later because I'm taking a break, at least, you know, till summer gets here. And then possibly we might go back to being a blonde, but for now, we're happy like this, and we're going to keep this color going, and yeah, guys. Anyways, um... It is so early. I need to wake up. Anyway, let me freshen up really quick. And I will chat chat with you guys in a bit. You know what I hate, guys? When there's someone in front of me at Starbucks and they don't know what they want. It's like, okay, when you're driving to Starbucks, to the drive through you should have been thinking of what you're going to get. Not literally waste people's time, especially the Verista who's probably so busy making drinks and stuff like that. And the person in back of you who's been waiting for like 10 minutes just to get a pre-order. And it's just like, oh my God, like hurry the fuck up. Like get what you want, coffee, frap, a refresher. I don't know, like order pretty much fast. It's just like one of my pet peeves, guys, but I don't know, like if, if this bitch takes forever and I waste more time, then I'm just gonna be so pissed off at her. And I'm just gonna get off and just get my order and call it a fucking day because literally this bitch doesn't know what she fucking wants and is glancing through the menu. I'm gonna show you guys, like glancing through the fucking menu. Like how hard is it to order Starbucks? Like, look, bitch. Like, really? 10 minutes trying to fucking place an order. Finally. And then you don't even know how to fucking drive. Hi, I have a mobile oil pickup for Radimus. Okay, we have that ready. You can go ahead and grab awesome, it. Awesome, thank you. See how fast this was, guys? Like, literally, like, not even 10 seconds. Why do people make things so complicated? You guys know that there's people out there like me that if they don't have their caffeine, they go crazy. And I really need my caffeine right now. It's like my crack to survive. I really, really need it. And um, today I got myself a cold brew, which is the nitro with uh, sweet cold foam. And I also got myself um, one of those, what is it, cake pops? The Erd Pop, hopefully they have it. But if they don't, that's fine. Any other cake pop is good. But um, yeah, here we are at Starbucks. Now she's talking to the barista. Look. My girl. Oh my God. This is the reason why I could never work at Starbucks because I don't have patience for bitches like that okay so three drinks took her 10 minutes really you bad miss here you are. Oh, sorry about that no, okay. thank you Man, thank i appreciate it you too you know you always have to be very respectful with the people that 
are in front of you and always wear your mask. And I know what some people are gonna say. Oh my God, you're a sheep, you're a sheep, you're a sheep. Nah, bitch. Listen, wear the mask and I will tell you why. Go, like, are you in a fucking carnival that you're fucking showcasing your fucking car? Get the fuck out of my fucking way. Like, really? Go. Dude, like, really? Oh, you don't even say fucking thank you? Just for that, I'm gonna be a bitch and get in front of your ass. Like, I hate selfish people. Like, I'm letting you fucking go through. At least have the courtesy to say thank you or wave at me like, bitch, thank you. Oh, all right. So let me just have my coffee before I go off on anyone else. Mm, so good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. So we pumped gas. We are good to go. Pumping gas. It's one of my fucking pet peeves. I hate pumping gas so, so much, guys. I don't know why I've always been like that. I hate pumping gas. I'd rather bring my little brother so he can help me pump gas. I, I don't know. I just never really like pumping gas. I think it's just a waste of time. But eventually for the car that I'm driving, I do need to pump gas. Anyway, let's try this again. I mean, it's not bad. It's not the greatest. It's not bad. Let's just leave it like that. You guys know that when I have time, I like to make my own coffee because I just don't like people fucking up my coffee. I'm not gonna let this ruin my day because whatever, it is caffeine. I need it right now. We're in a good mood, so we're just gonna go on with our day. Hey guys, what's up? So I didn't mention this earlier today because um, I didn't want to do it or anything like that, but um, I'm about to get my first COVID-19 vaccine and we are doing this at Walgreens and I drove about an hour and a half from the city. It's okay guys, we finally made it. We're a little bit late, so we got a rush. Hopefully um, everything goes well, uh, hopefully they don't give me any hard time and hopefully we get this done all right so pray for me guys let's do this let's get our first COVID-19 vaccine all right guys I'm a little bit nervous we are rushing because we're 18 minutes late I don't know what to expect I will tell you guys my experience of course and I'm bringing you guys along hopefully my little brother can film me let's do this guys all right, guys, heading to the pharmacy. It doesn't look that busy. Everything is good. Now we're waiting for the pharmacist to call my name. That way we can get our first COVID-19 vaccine. Hello, hello, hello. We're about to do this. Ooh, okay, gotta go. Oh my god, that wasn't bad. Oh. What's up guys? So, I just finished getting the uh, first COVID-19 vaccine. I thought it was going to be rough, to be honest with you guys. It wasn't bad at all. So far, so good. The only thing that I feel is my left arm where I got the vaccine. A little tight. A little tense, obviously due to the uh, vaccine. Either than that, I don't have any major symptoms at the moment. Um, I felt like I was getting a little panic attack, but that's because I didn't know what to expect. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I'm calm, drinking my coconut water, and just waiting to see if Throughout the day, I'll get any major symptoms. Hopefully not. But uh, I'm going to keep you guys updated. All right, guys. So I made it to my favorite restaurant, Ling Wing Wong in Chinatown. This is my um, veggie 
uh, dish and the veggie egg rolls and we're getting shrimp and orange chicken for my brother, my mom. Here we are having some tea. What's up guys? So it is about day three of getting my COVID-19 vaccine and a lot of you guys have been asking which COVID-19 vaccine um, I got. There's a Pfizer, there's the uh, Moderna, and there's another one, uh, Johnson & Johnson, that is in the works right now. But um, I got the Moderna one, and let me tell you guys, it is day three, and I feel 90% better. The first couple of days, guys, it was very drastic, and... I felt like I was getting the flu. I felt like all my bones were hurting. I felt like I had COVID basically. Um, I did go get tested again for COVID like every other week. I tested negative, of course. And it was just one of the uh, side effects that the vaccine has. And basically after a couple of days, you are back to normal. I really recommend you guys getting it if you guys can. I didn't even think twice of the side effects because I'm like, listen, if I'm gonna have some side effects for the peace of having my family safe, then by all means, well, let's do it. You know, reason why I got the vaccine first is because I'm always out and about. I love my freedom. I love to travel. I love to perform when I sing and I'm always in, you know, the showbiz is industry and I'm always out and about. So um, I see my family all the time. So that is the reason why I said, you know what, let me get that vaccine. And also because I wanted to see the side effects. So when my family was ready to take the shot, I could be there for them and guide them and make sure that I take care of them in that process. So, um, yeah, guys, I really recommend it. Of course, there is a second uh, dosage that I need to take within a couple of weeks by next month. So I will keep you guys updated on that. But meanwhile... I'm just chilling in the house. Today is the day where I feel almost 100%. So just go for a little drive. I've been inside the house for the past three days, guys. Literally just recovering, sleeping, not doing anything. The weather in Chicago has been so shitty anyway. So it's just like, okay, fine, whatever. But um, I just feel like I need to go out for a little drive. So we're going to be doing that and... Just drinking my coffee. But I wanted to stop by, guys, and give you guys an update on everything that is going on. I'm a little bit pissed off, guys. Let me see if I can just turn this on. I am so pissed off, guys. Who the fuck goes out shopping in the middle of a fucking snowstorm? Who the fuck does that? Me! Oh my god, guys. I was just so fucking frustrated at home. Being at home for the past three days recovering from this COVID-19 vaccine, which I do not regret getting, guys. Let me get that clear. I was just stuck at home and I was just so frustrated because I couldn't do nothing. I was in pain. I felt like I was getting COVID-19 all over again, even though I didn't have it because I did go get tested again. And thankfully I did uh, come out negative. I know I was going to come out negative. I'm taking all the precautions. Um, but, oh my God, guys. It was just a journey being at home. I know now that I just get so frustrated being at home for more than two days. I'm just like going crazy. So today I was just like, I don't care how the weather is. I do not care what happens in this world but i am gonna go shopping everyone knows that fucking shopping relaxes me so so much and 
I really do not need anything right now. I really don't need anything. But I was just like, you know what? Let's just fucking go shopping, get some therapy, and just kind of like relax, even though we are going through a fucking snowstorm in the middle of um, driving. I had to pump gas, which we all know I hate pumping gas. My hands got so freaking cold and at least half frozen. It's about nine degrees in Chicago. It is so fucking cold. I don't know. I'm just like very upset at myself right now because I am so paranoid driving in this slippery ass weather. Not for myself because I am a really good fucking driver, but for all the other stupid ass drivers in Chicago that do not know how to fucking drive, I am so worried. Okay? So worried with my fucking luck. I'm like, oh, I do not want to jinx it. So here I am. Hopefully, I do a little therapy shopping. I'm not even going to buy anything for myself, to be honest with you guys. I'm going to go shopping for my niece and nephew because I haven't shopped since probably Christmas. So I was just like, okay, it's February. Time to do a little shopping, see what I find. Okay, maybe I'll buy something for myself. This is how fucked up Chicago weather is. Guys, this is how messed up this weather is. And see people are driving like nothing, like they're in the fucking highway even though it's so slippery and then they hit a fucking car and then oh my god I did a boo-boo dumbasses anyway um let's do a little shopping at Von Mar guys I love to bargain look at this cute little London fog jacket this one is perfect for my little nephew and it looks super warm and I'm getting a really good deal for it. And then this other jacket is for my cute little knees. This is so cute for winter. Look who I'm with, guys. Tiffany, say hi to the blog live. Hi. I've been seeing you in like forever. Why are you ignoring the blog live? Say mm, hi. It smells like fish. Girl, we're like in front of the fish section. Anyway, Tiffany's going a little crazy with her groceries. Tiff, come on now. You better chill. She's like, uh, meet me at Joe Osco. I'm going to do a couple of purchases. But she didn't mention that she was going to fill up her card. This is everything that she's getting. Well, part of it. She's still doing more shopping, guys. I'm going to show you Tiffany's card so far, guys. Look. Stop, girl. I want to show everyone what you're getting. It oh, my God. Comes over. Girl, you're packing that card with snacks. Literally. And she is going crazy at Jules. Uh-uh. Well, that guy's going crazy, too, but... <laughs> Girl, shopping really relaxes you, huh? Yeah.